Referee Rich Mitchell about to get this one underway. Three five-minute rounds if they need them in the Cage Warriors featherweight division. Yai in the Lion McKenzie in the red. Solomon King Simon in the green and black. Straight down to the action here. swing uh, on a miss of study from uh, saw right hand uh, i was just gonna say so a really good counter puncher you know you, you think you have to land the one or two on them and the three coming back at you um and there's power in his counter punches as well chopping leg kicks early goes upstairs that time to simon Setting his stall out early here. Oh, huge shot! Drops him with the right hand. Mackenzie back to his feet. And see, this is my, I, I do tell Saul all the time. I know you've landed the big shot, but, but the finish is here. Go for it. Don't take the foot off the gas when, it, when um, you know, you can put it on. 100% here and get the finish out of it. Mackenzie doing good work trying to disguise that takedown entry, but takes a couple more for yeah. his troubles. Mackenzie desperate for the takedown right now, just to take back control of this fight. Yeah, as long as he's here, uh, uh, he's getting a break. So smart for him from Mackenzie. I would like to see some, uh, so let off some elbows here with the right hand, split his legs a little bit more, let the elbow off. Good grip fight in there by Simon. Hands on, now connected around that single leg for he's, McKenzie. He's got to be careful that uh, McKenzie doesn't took that knee in behind Saul's leg and go back with it. Grip broken now. Simon throwing an elbow on a nice knee. Trying to get away from McKenzie now. Mackenzie staying heavy though on the fence. That's yeah, good work from Mackenzie here to get your head back together after such a, a big right hand and getting dropped. Mackenzie has the hands clasped here. And this is what I was talking about, Saul. When he hit, when he hits the deck, he doesn't rest. He doesn't he doesn't um, think this. Uh, time to chill out down there. He's straight back to his feet and it, he, he's a nuisance to hold down. Yeah, he's really making Mackenzie work here. Just over two minutes left on the clock in this first round. I would like to see him go hand on the bicep or even on wrist control. Walk your way off this fence, get back to the center of the cage. That's where you're doing your best walk, so let the hands go again. Let's use this position. Warning from referee Rich Mitchell there. He wants to see a little bit more action. Yeah, there's Goa Saw back on that wrist control. Like I just said, I'd like to see him just, you know, punch away. Use the hand to, to, to get the air, uh, to make a little bit of space. Yeah. Mackenzie absolutely relentless with this body lock. Lots and lots of pressure here. He's not deterred by the fact that he hasn't been successful so far. Looks like Solomon cuts him with one of those short elbows there, maybe. Well, you know when you're going against somebody like that, Dan, um, and you're trying to take them down non-stop, non-stop, and the guy just has super base. Just, you cannot get it. He's not even doing much. So yeah. is, is, technically, isn't doing too much, but holding a wizard here, you know, he's just got ridiculously good base and to pull his way out. He just knows where he needs to be all the time. And if you do get him down, he's straight back up. And it is so frustrating for a guy like that, or to fight a guy like that. Not, not just frustrating, but it looks exhausting for McKenzie, you know. You always want to have your output lower than the person that you're attacking, but right now, I feel like the output is very much uh, one-sided. It's a lot of energy McKenzie used up and getting nothing returned. Yeah, uh, look where uh, Saul to go up top here with a head kick. Or another right hand straight down the pipe, there we go. Not time. Oh, and that one, unfortunately, 
Yeah, I don't think it was the biggest shot up the middle, but certainly connected. You got five minutes. No ill intent there, but Mackenzie will have five minutes. And I think Mackenzie might take a lot of that five minutes. I think that that is a really small mistake, obviously accidental by Simon, but I think that is not going to work to his advantage at all because I do think that Mackenzie is fatigued and this is going to give him a lot more rest than he would have had otherwise. See, the problem with that is, for me, if it, you're, giving, you're also giving Salah rest. You're He's going to come back fresh as well, like uh, even fresher, than, fresher than he was. Well, Mackenzie wanted to get straight back to it. Only 15 seconds left in the round, but let's see if one of these guys can finish big. Trade flying here by Mackenzie. Let's take that to back. Saw him with a series of big elbows. Wow, what a finish. Yeah, Mackenzie went for it. I think he knew he was there down around, really. Uh, through the flying knee, didn't quite land for, as clean as he wanted. And Saul shook it off for a couple of shots to finish off. So, for me, good round for Saul. Round two on the way now. Clash of two big featherweight prospects here. In our feature preliminary bout, Cage Warriors 170. Live on UFC Fight Pass. Jabs, leg kicks being exchanged. Good leg kicks in this second round from McKenzie. Simon fights back with one of his own though. A yeah, nice right hand there from McKenzie down the point. That's better from Saul. He's, he's not trying single, uh, single jabs at a time. He's doubling it up, but I'd like to see him throw the, uh, the right hand left hook uh, directly after it and finish off with a leg kick. You, you can't rely on these single shots. Again with that right hand. Mackenzie trying to disguise the takedown there. They yeah, start doing a good job of dropping the left hand on the inside uh, of Mackenzie's shoulder. The only problem with that is he's got to be careful. Mackenzie doesn't shook him off and take the back, but he's got the overhook on the left side here now and wrist control on the front. This, like I said in the first round, this is good work for McKenzie in terms of you're keeping Sal in this position, but it's not good work Let's overall because um, you're not effectively scoring. You're not, you're not uh, using any strikes whatsoever. Any strikes that are landing are very, very minimal. Um, so I would like to see McKenzie drop in for maybe a single leg, some shots to the legs, some foot stomps, do something different here. Well, we've already had one warning from the referee. And Rich won't give you a second. He'll just stop you bringing you back to the, uh, to the center. I think that man has given me more <laughs> given out to, in voice than I care to remember. <laughs> Look, I saw the throw a check hook and a right hand straight down the pipe. He likes to step in with a little left hook. Jab there by Solomon. Both guys swinging now. Mackenzie trying the head kick. Still got plenty of pep in his step, does the Welshman. Oh, he has the big one again. Snaps Mackenzie's head back. Saul's being a little bit too patient here. 
he, he just seems to be happy to stand on the outside and counter um, when McKenzie comes in. And like I said, he is a great counter puncher, but I would like to see him inch forward and, and throw um, four and five piece combinations rather than just a straight one twos. And, He's, got, he's got, also got to be careful about um, reaching down and trying to catch that kick and, and McKenzie not coming up high with the kick or, or sending the right hand down off a fake. But he's here on the knee slide pass. Yeah, Simon, Simon caught three of McKenzie's kicks this round and on that third one, he manages to get the, uh, put him on his back and take top position. Transitioning into mount now. Only got 45 seconds to work here. On the back, both hooks in. Beautiful walk to him, so. Beautiful position, switching the body triangle. Mackenzie does a great job of falling to that side, and you can see now it's hard to mobilize, and it forces the mount take. 30 seconds to work here, and loads of damage can be done in those 30 seconds. Mackenzie gives the back up again to avoid the strikes. And he, and he doesn't have much time here, but the arms underneath the neck. The seesaw go pound to pound, just go short choke, and just put the squeeze this on. This could be on. 10 seconds here. So it's so time. It's time. Taking a look back now. I mean, that was a tight bite. Even with just a second left on the clock, forces a submission with a big squeeze. Solomon King Simon putting Cage Warriors featherweights on notice. One last time on our prelims. Calls a stop to this contest after four minutes and 59 seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by way of rare naked choke in the red corner, Solomon King Simon. Solomon King Simon with the victory, a huge rear naked choke on the buzzer of the second round.